Investigators are warning people tonight to watch out for homemade chemical bombs like these in Butler County. Several went off in a Liberty Township neighborhood this week. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke with two people who were almost burned by the explosive devices. Jason? And Carolyn Clyde, what's so scary about these bombs is how unremarkable they look. This could easily be mistaken for garbage. We put this together using two bottles and some duct tape to show you what these chemical bombs look like. And tonight, the Butler County Sheriff's Office has a warning for everybody out there. Don't make the same mistake these people did. Here's where I've been trying to get it off with a, it will not come off with a, um, you know, with a stain remover. Nan Rody thought she was picking up trash. Like green plastic blobs that it, it oozed through that, it, it melted the, the bottle. I kicked it off the trail and all this green stuff oozed out of it. So I thought, I didn't know Mountain Dew would explode like that. Police say Rody brought homemade chemical bombs into her living room. The liquid inside left stains on her floor, reminders of how dangerous the bombs can be. Thursday morning, Tim Shepard made the same mistake. He assumed the bottles were just garbage in his yard. When I kicked it, it, it started spraying everywhere. And uh, before I picked it up, before I actually touched it, I looked down and looked back, and I saw there was a green foam on the driveway. And I was like, this isn't good. Shepard and Rody suspect kids are making the devices and leaving them around the neighborhood. Boy, they need to be read the riot act, I'll tell you that, and probably should be prosecuted. Sick kids. You know, kids who are, who are either so bored or mischievous or there aren't words to, to express if they're, you know, looking to hurt someone. It's very sick. Those two homes are located on Aspen Valley Drive in Liberty Township. And tonight, Tim Shepard passed out these neighborhood alerts to his fellow neighbors to warn them about what he found in his driveway this morning. Things like this. And the Butler County Sheriff's Office says they have no suspects for who is putting these together. But if you see something that looks anything like this, call 911. We're live tonight in Butler County. Jason Law, 9 on your side.